Good evening to you. I'm Greg Kerr. And I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. The return of Hobby Lobby to Port Arthur hit a setback after a city council meeting last week, but efforts are underway to try again. Council member Elizabeth Segler asked for the item to be placed on Tuesday's agenda. And if one Facebook group has anything to do with it, it'll be passed. The Bring Hobby Lobby Back to Port Arthur, Texas group has just under 5,000 likes. They describe their attempt as a grassroots effort to bring the craft store back after sustaining hurricane damage. But as KFDM's Justin Hinton explains, it's not quite that simple. Both of my kids say Hobby Lobby when we pull into the parking lot and have since they were younger than him. Good prices, good service. I don't think you can beat it. Craft enthusiasts are gushing over the Hobby Lobby in Beaumont. And there's always a sale. But some wish it was a little closer to work or home. Oh my God, listen, how many people on the South Jefferson County that have to travel to Beaumont for a Hobby Lobby? That would be a great um, business to have in our area. It would certainly bring in a tremendous amount of revenue. At a city council meeting, they almost got their wish when a developer presented a plan to bring the store to Port Arthur at a location just off of 365 and 69. As you can see, this building is vacant, and from further away, you can tell it used to be the Sutherlands and the place where that Hobby Lobby was supposed to go. But city council said no to an incentive plan that would bring the business here. Under the agreement, Hobby Lobby would not pay the city's one cent sales tax for 10 years, but only if the company's sales don't exceed, get this, $1.2 million, an incentive splitting council members' votes. Councilman Raymond Scott Jr. said he's all for bringing retail to the area, but not for giving up $1.2 million, especially in an already revamped area. On the other hand, Bob Williamson voted for the deal. He told me by phone Hobby Lobby is a drawing store, bringing people and other businesses to the surrounding area. He also said millions of dollars have come into the city through incentives in the past. For example, Target next to Central Mall and Cheddar's both came into the city under incentive-based agreements. But this deal fell short, voted down four to three. Now the tax issues, I'm not familiar with it, but the bottom line is the way I see it is that anytime we can bring in a base industry that produces uh, income to be spent in the other sectors is a good thing. The store has at least one more chance of revitalization under this plan at the next city council meeting. In Port Arthur, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. That council meeting discussing Hobby Lobby is Tuesday, November 12th.